Hey guys, how's it going? Now we've all been there as an iPhone user when you're trying to download or update an app and the App Store just gives you that information that it cannot connect to the servers. Well, that is a real big bummer. If you've been plagued by the same problem, this video is for you guys. Hey guys, this is Vim from Guiding Tech and today I'll show you five super easy and super cool ways on which how you can fix this error. Let's get started. Now the first trick is just to restart your device. I know it sounds super simple, but the fact is that over 80% of users have said that this easily just fixes all of their problems. To do so, just go to settings, general, shutdown, and move the power slider to the right to switch the phone off. Press and hold the power button for three to five seconds once again to turn it back on. Hopefully your problem should be fixed now. Now if that didn't work, the first thing that you can check is try and fix your internet connectivity. Depending on the active internet connection of your iPhone or iPad, disabling or re-enabling cellular data or Wi-Fi could help set things straight. Now, If the error still appears on the screen, turning on airplane mode and turning it back off could help as well. Now, Another reason why your iOS device fails to connect to the App Store could be due to a mismatch of the date and time settings on your device. To fix that, just head over to settings, general and then tap on date and time. Now just enable the toggle next to set automatically. That will automatically update your device's date and time to correspond with the selected time zone. Speaking of which, make sure that the time zone is set to your current location as well. Okay, now there is a possibility that there could be an error on your account not properly syncing with Apple's server. In that case, what you can do is simply disconnect your Apple ID from your device and then reconnect it to fix that error. To do this, launch the settings menu and then tap on your Apple ID profile. Select sign out and then follow the prompt. After this, just sign back in and things should hopefully be fixed. As a last resort, what you can do is simply reset your network settings. See, there are a lot of things that go on when you connect your device to a router and while it's tough to individually manage each and everything, the easiest way out is to simply reset it and start from scratch. To do so, navigate to settings, general, reset and then do reset network settings on the confirmation prompt. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Also, there is a possibility that in case these tips and tricks did not help you, the fact is that Apple's servers could be down as well. So I'll be leaving a link in the description box where you can check the current status of Apple servers to know that right now the fault is on Apple's end and not on yours. Well, this is one from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.